hi i'm tanusha and i would like to talk about green menstruation green menstruation is a term used when women or menstruators they use biodegradable menstrual hygiene products and it's term green because it's eco friendly and what do i mean by biodegradable menstrual hygiene products i'm talking about the menstrual cups the menstrual sponges cotton pads and even cloth pads and something which is becoming popular in the west that is the sand period panties and uh, yeah so the thing about this concept is like i had heard this term like green menstruation but never quite looked into it and um, i just got lucky in life where i came across this project that this fair project and had a chance to interact with the other fellow change makers and during our first session one of the topics allotted to us was green menstruation and the first session is all about fact finding and familiarizing ourselves with this concept so once i looked into this concept um, yeah i found a lot of cool interesting facts and at the end of this like once each one of us have found the facts and familiarized ourselves with the concept we were to talk about it so this this discussion with the other fellow chain makers and in this discussion i came to know about a lot of cool aspects to it yeah i thought it cool because it's like uh, i'll be discussing it in a short way but yeah there are pretty interesting aspects to it and i couldn't just get enough of this discussion on this concept and at the end i called my friend i was like this this interesting concept of clean menstruation where we have these options available how it's so beneficial not just to the environment but to the ones using these options and to my surprise she had already discussed about this concept to her mother and she wanted to bring about this change she wanted to use these better options which is available right now for us and uh, yeah not just her ma- mother but even when i spoke about this concept to her mother she just told me act normal i understand that the menstrual hygiene products that i'm referring to and speaking about they're very much acceptable sorry accessible affordable and even very much available but then they're not quite acceptable and i i just told my friend i was like in case if i have a girl child in the future this is some this concept not just for me but i want to introduce it to the coming generations but why like we all know that earth is something that we do not inherit from our ancestors it's something that we borrow from our children so it's even our right to keep it like uh keep the quality and sustain life for the many like many many generations to come and coming to i would like to start off with the environmental aspects to this uh green menstruation and why i straight out said that it's a sustainable way ahead coming uh, and in this course i want to compare it to something which is like frequently used most commonly used is the super absorbent fragrant rich sanitary pads the plastic sanitary pads and then i would like to like compare the plastic sanitary pads with something that i would myself would use or would recommend others to use that is the menstrual cup so coming to the plastic sanitary pads what about these pads the environmental aspects to it like one pad it takes about 500 to 800 years just to break down like seriously my i don't live that quite long and yeah it just takes so long and it's not like women use just one pad per month i mean this is a natural thing that happens and women the menstruators experience this on a monthly basis for an average of 40 years 40 40 years and just imagine there be about like assuming like 11000 pads used plastic sanitary pads used in that generation whereas the menstrual cup just one menstrual cup that can be used for like 10 years so in a lifetime i'm talking about the 40 years when people are menstruating women and the menstruators they can just use like just four to five of these menstrual cups they don't need more i yeah i know it's at a lower cost and you don't have to run to the stores to buy more but coming to the sanitary pads like 11000 compared to just five in a lifetime and what about these uh, uh, sanitary pads the uh, plastic sanitary napkins like they are disposable but are they sustainable no they definitely not sustainable and even when they're disposable like they just end up in the landfill or they end up clogging a drain and if and in case someone burns it 
because it's made of plastic it releases dioxin and these dioxins today are one of the major causes for cancer and the menstrual cup it is made up of a medical grade silicon material so yeah there's no plastic or chemicals added like uh, and uh, another added benefit is that menstrual cup it's odorless but then for these plastic sanitary napkins we have to use they use uh, fragrant rich chemicals I mean there's a lot of things there like there's a lot of plastic there's a lot of chemicals and still commercially it's spoken about and there's more awareness to it and another thing I understand that even like people are scared to try about it is because uh, they assume that like menstrual cup you have to insert it and it's quite scary like can it lead to tears no the as I said it's a medical grade silicon product it is very much biocompatible and smooth it does not lead to tears it rarely leads to tears and these sanitary pads I'm just stating it out openly but everyone goes through it like it does cause the dryness the rashes and dryness or oh, it leads to a lot of infections too and uh, there are gynecologists like people with severe rashes because of using these menstrual pads of the plastic sanitary pads their gynecologists have even recommended them to use this alternative of menstrual cups a better alternative and okay so yeah i said it's hazardous to the environment and we go for an alternative option which is safer uh, individual carbon footprints reduce and uh, there's a lot more environmental benefits to it but then i would like to talk on an individual level like yeah okay yeah i'm going to protect the environment but how is it even helping me like it's a scary concept to accept there's something like like i already said there's no rashes there's no dryness no prone for infection and something which commonly occurs like it's kind of common in um, using the men uh, the tampons and the plastic pads is the toxic shock syndrome and in this the menstrual cups it's like quite rare very negligent almost there's no risk of having this toxic shock syndrome and other than that the uh, menstrual uh, cups like see the menstrual cups uh, it does not like this is a really interesting fact that it does not limit the activities like wait i was missing out on fun for no reason yeah well, like even if you're having periods you can swim there's no restriction to it and you can wear it at night the menstrual cups can be worn at night during sleep and uh, it does not the menstrual fluid does not flow back to the uterus when person lies down or is sleeping that's clearly a myth so yeah there's so many positive benefits to it and coming to the ones which people very easily accept not knowing what like there's a lot of serious downsides to it like uh, like i already said on burning dioxins are released but there are even studies which have revealed that a small amount of dioxins very negligible but small can be absorbed through the skin and on long term basis like it may lead to infl- inflammation and chronic diseases so yeah like coming to it like i would recommend all of you to give it a thought and not just give it a thought but actually talk about it period